One of the traditional things to do in Hanukkah is to fry food in oil. And in our family, we've always fried potato latkes. A well-fried latke is the world's perfect food. No kidding, absolute number one favorite food. And it just so happens that our mom makes the best latkes you could ever have. I'm Ruth Lando. And I'm Michael Lando. And we are the grandparents of Humphrey. It's actually our grandfather's potato latke recipe, but he's 98 and can't really make them anymore. So when we were down visiting family, our mom showed us the way that our grandpa taught her how to make them. This week on Working Class Foodies. My recipe from my dad is a very freeform thing. I can tell you proportionally that you have probably three times potatoes to one part onions. Yukon Gold potatoes, although my father, who's now 97, says you should only use russet potatoes. When you made latkes, what kind of potatoes did you use? The cheapest. <laughs> <laughs> First you grate your potatoes and grate your onions. Normally you would do the onions and the potatoes in the box grater by hand, but that's how you ended up with fingernails and knuckles and maybe that was actually what made them even better, I don't know. I'm a sissy. Oh, and I use Vidalia onions. So you dump the onions and the potatoes together. You then must drain off the liquid because when latkes are mushy and drippy, then you don't get a nice crisp latke. Then you mix that in a bowl with some baking powder and salt and eggs proportionally just to hold it together so that it's not a runny mess. And then matzo meal gives it the body. Matzo meal is what gives it the ability to make into a snowball or cake. Coronado. I'm from San Antonio, Texas. Tamales during Christmas. I make mine more real and more original by adding ketchup. Sounds weird. You never hear about tamales with ketchup, but you know, that's how I make mine taste better. That's a real treat. So you have your potatoes, your onions, your salt, your egg, baking powder, and matzo meal, and you squeeze out the liquid and put them in very hot oil. You want to keep the oil around 350. You fry them until the fringes on the outside get nice and brown and crispy, and then you turn them. Like most fried foods, you don't want to turn them more than once, otherwise they become a sponge for the oil. How is it, Dad? A little sugar. A little thicker. She said thicker, you said sugar. Yeah. You have to make a lot, because people keep grabbing them while you're making them. So I've got about four apples chopped up and peeled. I'm gonna add in some water. And then another important thing is how you eat them. Some people will only eat them with applesauce. Some people will only eat them with sour cream. Some people put sugar on them. You sprinkle some sugar on them, you put some sour cream on them, and they are actually crunchy clouds from heaven. With applesauce. With applesauce. So it's really very much just a ritual of your own family and to remind you of family time and Hanukkah particularly. So the total price for a whole entire serving of latkes for six people came to about $8, which is about $1.25 per person. So now it's your turn. Let us know what your family's traditional holiday meals are. And we'll see you next week on Working Class Foodies. Happy Hanukkah.